Hello everyone, dear friends, Adish Niv is with you. And today we will check which pool is easier for all of us to sit. We've got a hot pool here and a cold one. Many have already filmed videos about hot and cold, but today we'll find out in which pool it will be the hardest to sit in. And you often write to me that when I shoot videos, I personally do not take part in them and I don't suffer enough. Therefore, today I myself will sit in one of the pools and the one to check the honesty of today's competition will be... Safik, one, two, three, four, guys. I will be in charge today. I'm gonna be the judge and I'm gonna watch how they sit in the pools and entertain them with various trials and challenges. I'm gonna spin this wheel of fortune and it's gonna come up with various challenges or with some very positive complications. I will choose a cold pool for myself so that I can feel cheerful throughout the game. And I endure the cold much easier than the heat. Guys, I'm getting a pool of hot water. I think it's much better than the cold one. Because when it's hot, you're just feeling hot. Getting all sweaty and thirsty, but when it's cold, it can just get unbearable to the point of hurt. Guys, I came up with everything in this competition. Look, water is pouring from the tap here, and currently it's about 40 degrees outside. So the water is somewhere around that. But look here, we have a hot pool, and this one's not so simple. We have four boilers here, very powerful. Look, watch this, steam. You hear that? It's hot here, and all four of them have a total capacity of 15 kilowatts. Guys, that's a lot of power. They heat this pool to almost 70 degrees, and that's not all. We have a very powerful heater, and it also heats it from the inside, and the heat radiates right into there. And then, there's also this heat gun. Now we will climb into the hot and cold pools, and we are shooting these videos just for one purpose. See this big head right here. I am telling you that you want to know what is is inside of this man's mouth. He has my channel in his mouth to which you need to subscribe to you guys. Press the red button. It's not difficult for you, but it will be very pleasant for me. These videos are made exclusively just for you so that you can watch and cheer yourself up, you guys. Here's Vladik. When he asks his viewers to subscribe to his channel, they subscribe, you guys. He already has 20 million subscribers and I have 1 million. This is certainly a lot, but you subscribe when I give away an iPhone or something or spend a thousand dollars on a subscriber I can't give a phone every video so please I'm telling you subscribe right now well because you know we're actually filming doing all of this just for you buddy and if you do not subscribe I will realize that I don't deserve all of your subscriptions okay guys get in come on Bruno come on move it hey, hey, hey come on get in Everyone, sit down. Now, I'll explain to the guys what our main prize is. Guys, the participant who completes the most challenges and punishments will receive this wonderful key to this safe, which contains the promised prize. You have no idea what could be in there. And that's the thing, absolutely nobody does. It must have been about three minutes already, because I feel totally comfortable in this hot pool. And if I could have some sort of cool drink in here, in general, it would be perfect. I hope the drink turns out for me on the wheel of fortune. But in the meantime, I sit here without any hardship. Guys, right now, at this exact moment, I feel incredibly energized due to the fact that I'm sitting in ice water. Next to me, there's an endless stream of just the coldest water ever. I don't know, it's sub-zero temperature for sure. It seems to me that it's much more comfortable to sit here than in this boiling water. Look, this water is so hot it turned red. It's outstanding. <laughs> Actually, I think I'll sit here for another 15 minutes. I am ready to sit for two hours, three even. I'll sit for four. <laughs> How long have we been sitting here? About an hour? Yeah. My hands are already blue. In fact, it's very difficult to sit here and I just incredibly want to plunge myself into the hot water over there because the water here is very cold and it's nearly impossible to sit here for long. Bruno, 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 you must what? plunge completely. Look over here at me, I'm all the way down to my neck. Or oh, what? Well, if Safik tells me to plunge, then okay. Otherwise, I'm not really into it. Surely you need to move more. It helps to gain some heat. Artem, if you want, we can change. How about that? No, wait, that's against the rules, man. You can't change. <laughs> Guys, if anything, since you can see for yourself how Artem feels, I added a hose with hot water to this pool. Look, if you can see it. 
There's even steam coming out of this water because he's just lying around here. He's good. And poor Bruno is completely, totally freezing in this pool. I already told you that the cold is always much worse than the heat, you guys. Seriously. Yes, I'm feeling hot. Yes, I'm thirsty. But I already have. Look, my hands. Well, like an old woman. But I'm actually feeling fine. I'm sure that I will be able to sit out Bruno, apparently, in a complete everything better than him. Look, he's shaking all over. Dive in completely, man. I don't want to do it. If Safik gives me such a task, I will do that. But I'm waiting for the challenges anyway. I want to acquire some kind of, I don't know, let's say a wetsuit just to make it warmer. Okay, I turned off RTM's hot water. Can I have some hot water too? I'll give you a cold one instead. Here. Well, it's already cold here. So uh, uh, you chose a cold pool yourself. Uh, I'm going to another corner. Arishnev Production decided that Arishnev would be the first one to spin the wheel. But since he can't spin the wheel personally, I'll do it. Guys, Artyom gets the chili pepper. Well, are you ready? Of course, I'm sitting in a hot pool, but so far I'm as comfortable as possible. And I think that a little pepper will definitely not spoil the fun. This here is the most fierce chili pepper. See how huge it is? This thing was grown in the Philippines in someone's garden, and then it got harvested. So look, vigorous, bright red. Here, Artyom. Guys, I do not care about any pepper right here. It hurts as much as possible in my mouth. I even screamed, then leaned on the pool. I've got this heater back over here and it burns my back, you guys. Ah! I really hope that I won't get sick after this experiment, but for the sake of you guys, I'm ready to sit here until the end. So please click on the red button. Artem, can I please have some pepper, or at least tiny bit of it? Bruno doesn't understand what he's asking for, seriously. My whole mouth is on fire right now, you guys. It's crazy. Saifik, can I give this pepper to Bruno? No, you can't. Ah! Look guys, these little grains, this is the most fierce thing that's inside of a pepper. Well, how are you doing? Yeah, I'm getting really hotter, you guys. But let's go further with the Wheel of Fortune. Let's get something for Bruno, yeah? Hopefully some ice. Well guys, now it's William Bruno's turn. Yeah, yeah! Can I have some soup, perhaps? Damn! Apparently Bruno gets an ice cream. Guys, look what we have in the fridge. It's a pile of ice. I don't know who might fall to. If it falls to William Bruno, it'll be a shock. And here, we're gonna take the ice cream. So William Bruno, which ice cream do you wanna choose? None of it, please. Oh, oh my, I'm already sitting in ice water. I still have ice cold water powering here. What's in there? Take it, eat one or the other. Well, let's take the smaller one. Do I have to eat it? Yes, entirely. <laughs> uh, guys, I don't know. I'd give anything right now for some hot soup to have it right here in the box. Bruno! Yeah? Shall we change? You can give me some ice cream and I'll give you some hot soup. Well, if it falls out. Would you like this ice cream? Yeah, yeah, no, yeah. No, you can't do no. it. No, you can't. Please, you guys have to play by the rules. Don't pretend that you're cold. Yeah, then come join me. I won't. I'm not sure if I'll be able to sit here until the very end, but I'll try. I'm still sitting here. There's a wetsuit. Why this Wheel of Fortune is so unfair to me. It would really help me out right now. William Bruno, look at Artyom. If anything, he's almost in up to his neck, and you're still up to your underpants, so it's not even fair. Yeah, because these boxers are nearly on his neck. <laughs> Honestly, I would lie down like Artyom. May I join him? I will also well, lie down dude, like him. lie down there. I have an ice pool, guys. You guys understand what he's doing is not fair. Everything needs to be okay. fair. Guys, I'm doing it for you. <laughs> that's it, that's enough. All fair, yes. <sighs> Guys, to be honest, I'm very tired, man. I understand that Bruno is probably in the most difficult position. Saifik, do you mind if I go and spin the Wheel of Fortune now? Hey, 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 wait, wait, wait. I've got one problem now. Well, in short, I'll be back in just 20 minutes, or I won't be back here at all. Or, I'll be back. I'll be back for sure. Okay, guys, in fact, I really just wanted to see if these guys were gonna play for real. See if they're gonna cheat and lie, or if they're gonna play honestly. Hey, you there, cameraman, please go to them and tell them that you turned off the camera, but record everything. Everything. Just record all of it. Don't miss a thing, so later the audience can see exactly how it really was. Come on, go record them. See what they're up to. I don't know where Suffolk is going, but I'm 
thirsty. Let me have at least a little bit. Oh. Hey! Hey, what? Oh. Oh. Get up back to your oh. pool, man. This is it. It's so Ooh, good go in back here, guys. Over there. Please give me a minute while Sapphic is gone. I'll warm up a bit. Ooh. Bruno, that's Ooh. enough. Now let's go. Oh, yeah, yeah, sure. Do it. Arjo, I have no choice anyway. It's really cold up there. Arjo, please, couple of minutes and that's it. Sapphic will be back in 20 minutes. Just let me warm up a bit. Well, that's going to be against the rules. Our viewers do not like it when one of us quarrels or plays unfairly. Let's just play fair, man, shall we? <laughs> I understand that this is a bit unfair, but honestly, it's impossible to sit there. Okay. But you don't want to be compared with there with Pashka Sharaev, right? Just do it like this, not tell Sothic, but you get out of here. Fine, okay. I don't want to be like Pasha Sharaev. Oh, guys, my boxers turned red after our gym school. I hope Sapphic doesn't notice it. It's impossible to sit here. And Artem is a real buzz there. There's hot water over there, and after this ice bath, I am feeling way, way better. Please do not scold Bruno. He's really, really cold. And do not tell Sapphic. He just warmed us up a little. Guys, you've seen everything. Bruno, of course, broke the rules. But luckily, they did not quarrel. Because the main thing is that their friendship should remain intact, right? Guys, well, now we're starting to spin the Wheel of Fortune. Ta da! Oh, guys, this is an astronaut suit. It's Hydra or something. Here, do you guys recognize this? Oh, no, why? Come on, Sophie. Well, what kind of wetsuit? I'm so hot, you guys. I can't sit in this hot pool anymore, anymore today. Can I have this thermal suit, please? It's so cold here, damn it. At least one more pair of boxers, damn it. It's really impossible to sit here. Impossible. <laughs> Artem always gets something hot in his hot bath. Tell me, is this fair or what? Now I'm gonna bring Artem a wetsuit. Then we're gonna spin the Wheel of Fortune and we're gonna see what you're gonna get. Maybe it'll be something good. Okay, let's do it. Here, Artem, your wetsuit. So? Guys, to be honest, this suit is stinging my throat right here, and I can barely, barely breathe because it's really, really steamy in here, you guys. It's hot and I'm sweating all over. Guys, coming up next, William Bruno. Now, I'm gonna spin the wheel and see what it comes up with. So far, these guys haven't gotten any cool prizes. All they've gotten is punishment inside of their pools. Spinning the Wheel of Fortune. Guys, William Bruno just got an inflatable boat. This is the same Commander 3000, the most pumped up boat in the entire area. Now I'm gonna bring this pumped up boat to him. I hope that the boat will not be as pumped as Sapphic says, but nice and whole instead. And I can warm myself on it for an hour at least. Well, and after that, I'll continue my adventures in this cold pool. Here, here, here. Here's what you got, William Bruno. Oh, can I climb on it? Yeah, hop on. Whoa. Oh, well, now we have equal chances with Artyom because he's very hot right now and I'm just floating over here and chilling, you know? It's well, guys, until the next spin of the wheel, we have exactly three hours. And the guys are giving some time to, well, just sit in their pools to relax a little bit. All right. I'm gonna leave for now. Uh, guys, I've been hanging out in my boat for 40 minutes and this is just awesome, for real. Artem is over there in his sauna and I'll have to swim in this icy water. But Savik says he would take back his boat in one hour. But for now, I have an hour to relax, to get some sleep, and prepare for the next challenge, basically. Guys, I understand that we are to fair play and so on, but I really didn't want to cheat until the very end. But Bruno climbed into the pool with me while I was in here. And after his cold water, he warmed himself in my warm pool. And now he just lies on his boat and sleeps now. And while he's asleep, time's just flying for him over there. And while Bruno's sleeping, I will do him a little bit of a trick to get back at him for getting into my pool and breaking the rules. By the way, and I didn't say anything to Sophic about him coming into my pool at all, so he knows. Ah, 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 I'm sinking! Ah, 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 I'm sinking! I'm sinking! I'm sinking! I'm sinking! Ah, Arjo, you crippled my boat! Ah, how cold! I still had one hour, damn it, Arjo! Yes, I blew up your boat, Bruno, but you got into my hot pool, right? I'm done sitting here, seriously. I ate red pepper. Nova put his Hydra suit on me, and I'm so tired already, man. 
Why did you get into my pool and I didn't get into yours? It's really not fair. Well, Artem, if you want to get to my pool, no problem. Climb in. There's still plenty of room here. I won't even tell Safik if you get in. I mean, just get here. No problem. Well, why piercing my boat? Bruno, here is what I propose to you. Let's not tell Safik, all right? But let's swap pools. Well, because we can no longer sit like this, really. I will sit in yours and have time to cool off from the heat. And you can do the same in my hot pool. Do you agree? Artem, I don't know. Safik did great job. He organized this whole game, came up with all these challenges. If we don't play fair, it won't be interesting for both Safik and the audience. Well, okay. Artem, let's swap the pools for a minute, okay? Okay, Bruno, let's just do it for one minute, all right? But no more. Guys, well, really, I just can't sit in this anymore. It's so hot in here. <laughs> it's so good. Oh. oh. Awesome. Guys, right here, there's this huge battery that's warming me from the back. There are four boilers on the right. Damn it, it's certainly possible to stay here for a long time. But after that cold pool, it's just a pure pleasure. Guys, finally, God, seriously. The camera didn't record it, but when I sat down in here, I was already evaporating because of how hot I was in here. It's just totally awesome here. Safik also turned off the cold water, and I wanted to pour some cold water and myself at least a little bit. Guys, I understand that I didn't act honestly, poorly even when I was pierced Bruno's boat, but I was just incredibly insulted and hurt, well, because he was in sitting in my warm pool and had time to cool down and then blissed out on the boat. And I, just like a total sucker, just sat in this hot pool feeling extremely hot, seriously. Even now, I would gladly take off this wetsuit and would be happy to swim without these clothes, which always warm me up because I really don't want to cool down as quickly as possible, you guys and so that Safik would not notice this. Bruno, please forgive me, man. I didn't mean to act so meanly to you. I'm sorry I got you sinking. Would you forgive me? I'm sorry, my friend. Well, you know, guys, I was actually a little bit unhappy that I lost my boat. You remember it? Artem invited me to his hot pool, and, and this is the second time I've been warming up here while Safik is gone, and I don't think the boat is worth losing your best friend. Therefore, of course, I forgive you, Artem. Let's change back the pool. Safik is coming back. Oh, Bruno, yeah, let's switch then. Oh, oh back to my boat. Oh, my God. Whoa, guys, this water is so cold. Guys, I've seen everything. How they replace each other in their pools. Well, the main thing here is that they did not quarrel. They talked and everything was in favor of friendship, guys. Well, how's it going? Hi, Safik. Hello. How did you manage to pierce your boat? Well, somehow I just got hit on the side and pierced it, but still, I don't leave the boat. I mean, everything is according to the rules. I'm still sitting in the boat, as you can see. Well, you can get off it. It makes no, no difference. No, 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 I'm, I'm fine. Cool shorts you have there. So stylish and red speckled. Yeah, it's because of the boat. The boat is red and I'm red too. Well, sure, I get it. Now, guys, a lot of things depend on this touch. Either this is Arteon's victory or it's his loss. This next spin is going to determine the fate of both of them. Guys, Artyom got the spicy noodles. I'm gonna go bring them from the table right now. Tell me why, you guys. Tell me why. The what did I do wrong? Seriously, I haven't recovered yet after that pepper, and Savik brings me some hot noodles now so that I'm completely done in here. I can't take this crap anymore, you guys. Guys, I found this one on the table of Arishnet Production. Here, hold your dish carefully, Artyom. It's very hot. Safik is away for now, but I must complete the task honestly, so this is the only reason I sit and eat these hot spicy noodles, you guys. Oh, I can't take this anymore, you guys. I almost forgot. Artyom, here's the secret ingredient. Oh, why are you doing this? It's spicy. It's spicy enough. Hey, come on, stop it. Come on, enough. Safik, it was spicy enough. Why did you do that? This is the spiciest Tabasco pepper. <laughs> Guys, it seems to me that this is a little bit unfair. Although, yeah, it's kind of fair, probably. But damn, Artem always, always gets something that just warms him up. Uh, can I get some? Stop. E eat it, eat it, eat it, Bruto. Hurry, eat it up. Hey, guys. Come on, come on. It's against the come rules. On, come on, come on. This is totally against the rules. Eat it, eat it, eat it, eat it. Give it back. <laughs> Calm down, everyone. Come on. You're going to be fed right after him. Hey, I ate it all. Take it away. All right, guys, Artyom made everything. He did a great job. I have one idea. 
we're going to do another challenge right now. Whoever is the one to hold their breath underwater for the longest amount of time wins. Guys, let's go check it out right now. I know, and you also know, that I saw through this little crack here and how they climbed into each other's pools. Both of them. Now, our team for this challenge, he's going to have to sit inside of this pool together with Bruno. Both of you guys together in the same pool. Whoa, hurrah, finally. Can I get into Artyom's pool, please? Yeah, can you get into my pool, Sophix, so that I can maybe, you know... Uh... I'm sorry, William Bruno, but you have the only transparent pool here, and it'll be clear whether you cheat or not. So sorry to tell you, but you're the only one here with a transparent pool. Whew, guys, finally. Oh, guys, if you could only know how great I'm feeling right now after that hot pool. Now that I'm in a cold one, I am chilling my arms, legs, everything. My torso is just cool even down a little bit just right now. All right, guys, we need to quickly complete this challenge so that our Tim isn't stuck in the cold water for too long. Here. Now we have some additional weights to keep them in there longer. Okay guys, grab your weights. Three, two, one, dive in! Guys, as you can see, I don't know which one of them is enduring the longest, but our Tim looks like he's doing the best. No! The first one to jump out was William Bruno. Guys! Is that Tim? Can I get Come out? Come on, everyone. Get back to your pools. Our Tim, get back over there. Not you, William Bruno. Damn, again. Ah, uh, this hot pool again. We have the next spin of the wheel. Let's go. Can I get another boat, please? Guys, did you see what fell out? That's three ice cubes at least. Can well, you spin it again, please? I just no want way. a new boat. Uh, okay, get those ice cubes here. It's already so cold here. Oh, God damn it. <laughs> Guys, to be honest, well, Bruno and I, of course, are competitors in here and all that, but I think that we got closer to each other during the game, you know? And it seems to me that, you know, Bruno will definitely not endure the eyes. His lips are blue. Also, his hands are blue. Well, okay, I'm still all right. It's at least a little easier for me. Well, here comes the ice. There should be just three cubes. Well, hey, three Savic, buckets. Savic, ah, 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 stop it. Savic, stop it. Ah, ah, there were three cubes on this wheel. You brought three buckets. That's not fair. Come on. Ah, time to warm up. Ah, oh, cold. Ah, ah, ah. Uh, that's it! Our jump goes farther! Our jump won! I don't care anymore! Uh, take this victory! Uh, guys, I understand that the video does not convey the cold I experienced. I would probably have sat there for another hour or two, maybe more, but those three buckets of ice just carried me right away. Now it's totally impossible to sit in this water, really. So please forgive me, it was rooting for me, but it's much easier to sit in a hot pool. I'm now sitting here and getting really high, so so Artyom wins. Congratulations. So that means that I won? Where's my key then? Here. Here's your key, Artyom. Congratulations on the victory. Shall we open it together, Bruno? Let's go, let's go, let's go. Them here with you and also with me today. William Bruno! That's right. Something. One, two, three, four! And guys, we need to be as quiet as possible now because we're in the mall during nighttime right now. And we came here for a reason. We want to get into the trampoline center, so let's go there real quickly, you guys. Let's go. Just need to be extremely quiet right now. <laughs> Damn, you guys, Dan Schmaltz is always just so clumsy. All right, quiet now, let's go in. Hey, Sam, easy there. That's it. Come on, come on, come on. Guys! Damn, there's a guard! Let's be as quiet as possible, you guys, because if we wake up that guard right there, he will immediately catch us. Let's go over there towards the entrance. We don't need to worry about this guard. Let's just let him sleep. Guys, 
This is crazy. I can't believe it. We're in a closed trampoline center. Guys, we can't get through, see? It's closed. We need an access guard. The guard has it. Let's go. Guys, I don't know how Dan figured this out, but we really need to apply for an access card for this thing right here. We read that there is a sensor here, right? And if you don't open this door with your card, then the alarm will go off in the whole place. <laughs> Damn you guys, the door is open. Let's run out of here. I just hope that the guard doesn't wake up because then we'll be in big trouble. Do you realize that we are at the trampoline center at night and it is completely at our disposal, you guys? Guys, just so you guys know, we're at the Hop Top Family Entertainment Center. You can come here and run around just like us. Only do it during the day. You can't come here at night. Security is really strong here. Guys, look how many sweets they have here. They're cookies, sweets, even more coffee. Come on, have it all. Bruno, are you out of your mind? There's a guard right over there, and taking someone's property is not good. Right, Arto, I always forget that it's wrong to steal. How not to steal, though? Just look what a delicious ice cream they have here. But it's still not ours. In fact, I agree with Artyom that taking someone else's food is bad. If you also think that stealing is bad, then be sure to write about it in the comments. And if you have never stolen anything in your life, then subscribe to the channel because this is a community of honest people. Zafik, let's go. We'll play and have fun. Hold on. Wait, Dinschmaltz, what are you doing? We gotta take off our shoes first. Oh, I'm sorry. Socks there as it should be. We're decent people. We will not spread dirt in here. Guys, we're gonna have so much fun. Ha ha ha. Opa. It's meant for little kids, I guess. You see, I sat down here and now it reaches the floor. Come on. Let's go to some other place. Guys, there is still a security guard at the entrance. I got his costumes exactly for this. Red, I'm wearing red. Yeah, yeah come take on. them all. Uh, grab your colors. Wait, Bruno. So you're saying that if the guard comes in here, then we will put on these camouflage suits and we will just hide from him? Well, of course, Artyom. Look, you're getting a yellow suit, so you're gonna be all yellow. And if anything happens, just jump over here. Yellow and yellow is totally invisible. No one will ever find you and the cops won't take you away. This is brilliant. Just please don't accident step on me. I'm lying right here in case I don't see me. Dan Schmaltz is actually lying still and he's all about invisible. He has a red shirt and red pants. Even the strap on his watch is also red. I want to grab this Ogano. Look, he's just like a Spider-Man. Hey, Tim Schmaltz, what the hell did you get up there get for, me? Get down. Ah! Ah! Traffic, be quiet. The guard is sleeping there. If he hears us, then that's it. The fun is over. Damn. Look, Safik, Bruno is right. If we shout loudly, then the guard will surely wake up and find us over here. Then we can even hear him snoring loudly over there from here. Okay, guys, I'm sorry. I didn't realize that I was screaming so loudly. Suffolk, please, let's be quiet. Otherwise, well, really, you saw for yourself what a spooky ah! car is. Ah! Ugh, no, this is really cool stuff. Hey, are you kidding me here? Don't you get that he's sleeping right over there and he can come over. <sighs> Guys, I have a brilliant idea. I want to do a really cool challenge. I found this obstacle course here, and I want all four of us to go through it right to the finish line. So I'm gonna do it like this. Watch me do it here. Just like this. Oh, 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 oh. Wait, oh, it, oh. No, it's not that easy as it looks. And the one who finishes it first will be allowed to shoot at the butts of the losers from that gun right over there. Huh, this gun that shoots? Whoa! This gun shoots air. Oh, Dan Schmaltz, what are you talking about? Look, here it goes. I think the first round starts right now, and I'm gonna pass it first. And we'll have a chance to see how everything works here. Three, two, one, go! Yeah, it's over there. Come on, you're the best. Thank you. It's very far away, so I need to. Yeah. Oh, whoa, ha! I've made it this far. So now the spinning wheel. Ah. Ah, ah, ah. Oh. 
Uh, Everyone was waiting for you, Safi. Damn, how could you fall like that? I'm afraid that we'll all slip in this orange and get shot in the butt then. So guys, now it's my turn. Three, two, one, start! Wah! Yeah, my legs are long. I can reach right here. Whoop! Whoop! I understand why Sopic failed here. It looks like something that can really make you fall for sure. Be careful with the oranges now. They are really, really slippery. Yeah. Oh! <laughs> Fell down just like that. Guys, these oranges are impossible to pass. They are too far from each other. So, Dan, now it's your time to shine. Don't get screwed by the oranges. I will not just pass it like that, and I will not simply jump. I will be jumping like a frog. I quickly ended up in oranges somehow. Now it's my turn! Ugh. Okay, a bit of dance tactics, a bit of sapphix tactics. Jumping on the tomato? Yeah! The hardest part starts now, right? Oh, oh, whoa, oh, he did it! He managed oh, to pass the oranges! Oh, oh, now we're here, on this tangerine! Oh my, a little more and I touched the floor! And this is unfamiliar territory! Ugh. Whoa! I need to get on this trampoline! I'm your fan. I did it! He said about Sophic that he jumps like a monkey. Well, he is just like a monkey himself. He passed this obstacle course on the first try. William Bruno did great. And now he's going to shoot at my butt. So are you guys ready? Ready! Just don't overdo it, okay? Ah! Ah! Oh! Hey! Oh, that hurts! And you are doing well here too, always hitting the target. Guys, let's finally look what's going on in this trampoline center when there is not a single visitor present here. Come on! Oh, even though I'm kind of, you know, not small anymore, neither in size or in age, I really like it here, you guys. Damn, so much space in here! Whoa! Oh my god, we've reached the ceiling here! Yeah. Uh, uh. No way! I'm going! Ooh, yeah, right! So, where to now? This is insanely cool! Here we can hide from the guards just like that! They will never ever find us! Not a chance! You can see the whole park from here! Look, the boys are having some fun right over there! Hey, give me the camera! Ah! Oh. Look just how cool this is! Here you can slide just like in a water park! I already noticed this one thing over there and it leads downwards! <laughs> and now guys, I'll show you what I like most about this amusement park! It's a banji! <laughs> ah! Guys, if you ask me, the most exciting thing here in this amusement park are these trampolines! But to be honest, this is also one of the most dangerous rides here. But if you're a real ninja, you're gonna be just fine. No, look, I'd actually like to play camo hide and seek now. I'm running out of breath here already! Gotta call the boys and put on these costumes already! Then start hiding from each other because I guess it will be really thrilling! Let's put them on now and start our camouflage hide and seek at the trampoline center in the middle of the night! That's it! We just need to decide on who will lead the game today! Sonic always leads! It's kinda his thing! Guys, just so that you know, Dan Schmaltz and tonight switched costume because mine was way too small! Okay, Sonic, if you want to lead, then first let me, then Schmaltz and Bruno will hide well, and then you guys can come and try to find us. Well, I never said that I wanted to lead. As long as this video gets 100,000 likes, the second part of Camouflage Hide and Seek will be released right away. All right, let's go hide. Okay, guys, I'll just hide in the best place ever. It's somehow on this thing right here. Here it may be almost impossible to tell where I am, just need to get onto it. Okay, this is thing, it's kind of blue, but I can't be seen here. Go to move over here. Alright, this is thing is completely blue here, I should be invisible. Guys, it's me, William Bruno. While Sapphic is uh, counting down there, I need to quickly hide and most importantly, find some green color stuff so that I'm concealed just fine. And I already have a plan. Damn. Uh, uh. 
It's like a spider web here. I myself could get stuck in here and never get out. Now I'm in a green area, so I should be almost invisible here. I'm very close to Safik. There he is, standing so close over here. I know, I'm going to start going down with this bungee thing, and in the middle I'll jump off into this huge pile of colored cubes. There's just a lot of yellow, so I won't be visible at all, you guys. A hundred percent. Guys, look, you can't see me behind these color cubes at all. I'm definitely well hidden. All right, time's up. Ready or not, here I come. There's so much here that I don't even know where to start looking. Now, if I think back carefully, Artyom was wearing blue, Bruno was green, and Den Schmaltz was purple. Where's the purple color here? I'm totally sure that he's in that tall building right there. Because you know, guys, there are a lot of places where you can hide inside of here. Well, I'm too lazy to climb on it now, so first, I'm gonna bungee jump. I wanna ride it, like, all the time. It is super cool, super cool. A bungee like this can only be found here. We wanna have the same in our studio because it is so cool. I would ride it in the mornings, in the afternoons, and even in the evenings. All right, guys, now it's time to ride down. Woo! Guys, this is crazy. He almost spotted me here. I really like it here, guys. It's so much fun. This is crazy. How did that get here? I guess there's someone in these watermelons or the strawberries. I am absolutely sure of it. Let's see. Yeah, that's the thing. It's super easy to fall in here, so you gotta be careful. Guys, I hope I haven't missed anyone in the camouflage yet. Here, it's possible, you know, for a guy in a white suit to hide here and then for someone in the green suit to lean against his pole. Guys, Suffolk almost found me in this spot right here, so I need to reposition really, really fast. I already spotted one place, so come on, let's go, let's go. You can already see that there are such trampolines right here, right here. I'll lie down like this, hoping that Suffolk won't see me at all. Now, I hope the guys are all following the rules and are only hiding inside of the green zone. Ah! Look! Ha! Try to get me now! It's William Bruno! Ha ha! Guys, he's really like a spider in a spider's web! How'd he get you there? You won't make it, Sapphic! Anyway, I think I found and stained you. Stained? Like my reputation? I mean, that I got you. So, I've lost already. Yeah. Damn, okay, you still have to find Dan Schmaltz and Artem Arishnev. Guys, I need to hide again now! I have to find Dan Schmaltz. He's around here somewhere, I'm sure. Some kind of maze here, guys. Okay. Easy. Hey! I saw someone! Oh, dang it! It's so dark in there! Oh, I found a way out! I've ended up on the complete other side of this house! Let's take a look at this thing here. Guys, there's a lot of floors here. A lot of levels. Hey, William Bruno! What are you doing here? Yeah, right. Okay, guys, let's go over there, just like we intended. It seems to me like someone is here. Let's keep going. Anybody here? Where to climb now? Up, down, left, right. Wow, guys, it's so cool to climb in here after all. All right, is anybody in here? No. I'm not gonna answer him. Pretend like there's no one here either. Guys, let's quickly get over there now. Come on, I have to arena. Let's go. Come on, over here. Nice and easy. Right, I don't see anyone, but I definitely heard Dan Schmal somewhere around here. The most important thing while playing hide and seek is attention. Come on, let's keep going. Perhaps he hit again, since I've already reached the end of this town, and there's no one even here. And guys, guys, I think I know where he is. He is here, right above me. Oh, weird guys, my intuition never fails me. Guys, I need to find some way to get out of here. It seemed to me that the best way to get out of here is to go back because I was once lost already here. So let's go. Wait, stop. Don't move, damn small. Ah, how did you know it was me? I knew it shouldn't have moved. You shouldn't have changed position. There, behind me. I've already found both William Bruno and Dan Schmaltz. Wow. I only need to find Artem Arishnev now, and I just forgot what color he is. It seems to me that there are also switching costumes while walking around here. Well, it means that these guys are not playing completely fair, because switching costumes are not allowed. But we haven't discussed it, so it's not a strict rule. Either someone is hiding in cubes, guys, or I just thought of this now. Or someone is sitting in the toilet. You can also close yourself in a stall, but you know, that would also be dishonest. And I need to check the cubes. 
Artemo, come out! It's so tiring to walk in this swamp! I don't think Artyom would climb in here. Come on, let's get out of here. You guys, it seems to me that Artyom Arishnev has switched costumes with William Bruno. Ah! ah! Artyom! No! Ah! Where's the present? Where's my card? Holy moly. Someone clearly got in here. What is going on? There's no one here. What is it? I see. One, two, three of them. Okay, now I'll find them. Where are you hiding? Guys, I found all of you. Oh, there's a guard! He probably noticed us when we were screaming so loud and woke up. So let's run! So where to now? Hide! We're playing hide and seek again, and now it is for real. Uh, now, let's go here quickly. Uh, good thing that I'm wearing green. Almost everything here is green. I hope the guard doesn't see me. So guys, I urgently need to hide somewhere quick. Maybe I'll climb into this volcano. Or maybe this royal hide and seek under this hill. Oh, it's so tight underneath here. You can't see me, right? I hope I can't be seen here. Oh, I need to find another place urgently. Oh, this guard is on his way. The guard is on his way. Guys, if I'm red, I can't be seen on the trampoline. Okay, no more talking. Guys, I climbed here on this structure right here. Come on, so show me from a distance. And I'll pretend that I'm a statue so that this guard doesn't notice me at all. Well, it's dark in the maze, and no one will find me here. I'm just sitting here. I hope he doesn't see me. Okay, he'll put me in jail like that. Gonna find a better place. Oh, man, it's unclear where I go to in this maze. It seems to be safe here, but I feel a certain catch in this. All right, I'm ready. Where are they? Hmm, there's definitely someone here. But where exactly? This is a whole city, even though a torn one. We can walk here for a week. <laughs> They, huh? They got to be somewhere. Right. Where are you, huh? You can't just vanish like that. Can't be here, right? Oh, what a mystery. Damn, the guard is coming over here! Well done, huh? What's that? He's right, right here! That's unbelievable. Yeah. Oh boy! Oh crap! He's going back now! Well, now I'll move a little. Ugh. What's that, huh? Damn, there he comes again. Ugh. Well, enough already. Enough playing. Come out now. Is that some game for you? Guys, did you see how he passed right past me right here? He almost noticed me. I hid not at all in my collar, but I pretended to be a statue and seemed to be unnoticeable. I just hope that he doesn't find anyone else so that we can escape from this trampoline center. Ah. Oh, damn it, always something weird happens on my shift. Come out, I won't do anything but to you. You'll just leave the building. The security guard just walked right here. He just walked right past me. I'm so glad that I can't be seen right here. Oh, damn it. What's the hell? Where are you? Ah! Oh, no, that's a maze. Someplace better. Over here. Where are you all? Hey, is anybody here? Respond now. I'm turning the lights off. Let's try trouble. Ah. I'll find you anyway. Oh. Looks just like a life. If everything here is like that, I won't be able to find anyone. Right. Guys, did you just see that? He looked directly at me and he still didn't notice me at all. So... Mm, yeah. Ah, oh, damn. What is it? How can it be? It was just here. Where is the statue? Hey, what is it? 
Enough already! This is some game for you! Guys, I barely got away from that guard! I mean, he didn't notice me at all, you guys! Now I just need to hide in here somewhere. There are a lot of green flowers here and almost nothing yellow! So I'm gonna hide in this thing right here. It seems to me that even if the guard were to see me, he wouldn't be able to climb up in here after me! Going up! Oh, uh, yeah, uh, okay, oh, you guys, that's, I'm gonna lie down on the yellow thing like this, and he definitely will not notice me at all, and even if he does, I will just change my position really quickly. Oh. Guys, I'm gonna prank the guard now. Damn, that's just crazy. What is it? Who's there? Where are you all, huh? Stop playing. Well, there's definitely no one here. Hardly anyone could be here. Where is it? Hey, what's going on here? What's going on here? What's this? Who's hiding here? Enough playing with me already! You just can't do that! Be responsible! Some weird crap! What's going on here? Yeah, get a decent job this set, all right. Guys, did you just see me taking off his hat? At some point, he's just gonna lose his mind and then he's gonna be too scared to run away from here. Guys, now I need to hide better as soon as possible because it's not safe there anymore. Yeah, that's the right place. Guys, I'm already tired of sitting here. The guard is currently on the other side of this park, so that means I need to move somewhere else urgently. As far as I can see, the center of the square is red. Oh, guys, it's a huge red mattress. I'm gonna line it just like this. Whew. Is it, huh? Oh, screw it! The place is kind of haunted. Some real horror. I'm cursed or what? All right, screw it. I'm quitting. Let them be. 